Hey everyone, it's Crystal Marshall from Martial Arts Studio. And today I have a question on my website. What forms do I need to run a photography business? Okay, it's very, and very, very important. A lot of people, they just go to Best Buy, they get themselves a camera, they go on Amazon, and I was guilty of this too. Um, going on Amazon, getting a camera, getting a shoot or two lined up for portfolio reasons, but not having a business license and not having forms in place. I mean, fortunately, I was working with people from my church and they were understanding, um, which is great. But if you ever take shoots from people that are from Google, that are from friends of friends, you need to have your ducks in a row. I cannot tell you how many scary stories that I see, especially on the wedding side, um, people that don't have contracts, don't have legal um a legal business with actual insurance and actual things um, and you it will bite you in the butt even if it's just you're taking photos of children and you post a photo of a child that maybe didn't have a print release you know the parents could legally sue you so always 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 have um, insurance have a license have you know approval to do these things, I make my uh, customers sign a form releasing me from liability if one of their kids gets hurt on a shoot. I mean, God forbid, I mean, I'm trying to be as safe as possible, but we're in the woods a lot, we're outside, you know, we're at the beach, you know, someone could trip and fall, someone could twist their ankle, you know, things happen. So I always have that on my form that you're releasing me from any um, you know, ramifications from that. And also, um, on the form, the first thing you see on the form is, am I allowed to post these photos for social media for my website? Um, and that is called the model release. And so that is releasing, you know, you and saying, I'm allowed to use these for my future clients, my future booking. If not, you cannot check, you know, don't check the box. And it will just be a private gallery for just them. I will not post them on any social media platforms. So those are very, very important. Um, you might have all the best gear in the world. You might have um, the best connections in the world. But if you're not covering your business and your assets and your, your family, um, getting all your ducks in a row, it's going to bite you in the butt. Um, for example, this is a great example. Um, one, especially on the wedding photography side, um, a lot of times with um, venues, you're not allowed to even walk into the venue without insurance and business license because they require that of pretty much all their vendors. Like if you're going to be at a country club or a yacht or um, the, you know, gar you know, botanical gardens, whatever, like a fancy venue, that's going to be required. So that's number one. Um, so. So on the customer side, before I go to number two, on the customer side, if you're seeing somebody that doesn't have a business license, um, is is like less than a thousand dollars for a wedding, they probably aren't paying taxes, they probably aren't paying fees. So if something happens at your wedding, just know it's on you. Just just a warning, warning. Um, so that's why photography is so 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 expensive. Not only do you have to pay twenty thousand dollars for expensive wedding prime uh, professional gear. But you have to pay taxes every month, which is like two to three hundred dollars in just taxes, fees, you know, website maintenance, whatever. Um, so there you go. So anyway, number two, um, this is a true example where um, I was working at a wedding like two years ago. No, it was like it was like a year ago, and I was pregnant with my baby, my baby son, who's sitting here in the in the high chair eating a snack. And um, so I was like three months pregnant with him. Um, I hadn't really eaten in the morning. Um, it was it was like a 6 a.m. wedding show up time. So I'm there. I'm you know not really drinking water as much as I should. I'm on my feet. I'm pregnant. So I literally pass out in the middle of the ceremony. Like I just clunk out. Okay. And the bride had every every right to take that up on a legal standpoint for me. Fortunately, I had a wonderful wonderful bride that's very understanding, and they you know. They were awesome, and I'm so, so grateful for my clients. But you know what? If I didn't have that relationship with my clients, if I didn't have um, covering myself and my family, like that could have been something that they could have brought up. So anyway, so don't let that happen to you. I read about so many horror stories of photographers that just want work, so they'll do anything. They'll, they'll shoot whatever time of day, whatever night time, go into all these people's houses, and then something happens. So... Cover your business, cover your assets, cover your assets, minus the ETS, and uh, be legit, and that's just some advice from one pro to another. So thank you, this is Crystal Marshall, you can follow me on all my social media links below, and to get advice, let me get my son, because he's crying, of course. Alright, see ya.
ya.